Hi, this is Meg of the PG-14 News, and today I'm going to be reviewing the iPod Nano 3. Um, this is pretty much on everybody's Christmas list, this is why I did this. Um, let's go over the accessories that come in the box. We got this cheesy iPod uh, stand, I guess this is what it is. You can use it for a charging dock, I think, also. Um, we got our iPod sync cable for charging and syncing songs and videos off and on your iPod. And you got your uh, iPod earphones. These are newer also. These aren't um, like the other ones, which, I mean, they're nice. I like them. And then, of course, we got the box. Alright, this is the iPod Shuffle, and this is the official one, if you can see that. It's very, uh, it's very small, the size of your index finger, um, sleek. I didn't really like it that much. That's why I upgraded it. And here comes the iPod 3, 4 gig, um, third generation, right here. Let's just take a moment and take a look at the outside of this thing. Beautiful, uh, external screen, wide screen, very wide, um, compared to this and with no screen. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's very nice. Very thin. Um, another good, great feature, so it fits in your pocket. Um, and then this back. And there's the camera there. You can see it. He's right there. Um, I don't like this. Um, I, you probably can't tell, but this gets very scratched and very um, smeared and smudged. Um, very easily, just by putting it down on a table, perhaps like this. Um, maybe if I drag it across the table very gently, it, you'll see scratching occur on the back. That's pretty much the only down um, con or whatever you want to say for this cam uh, not camera, <laughs> for this iPod. Um, so let's go ahead and look at some internal features. When we turn our iPod on, it brings us to our menu where it's split screen, which is, I believe, different than any other iPod Nano. On my menu, I have music music videos, um, photos, podcasts, extras, and I don't know if you can read that or not. It might be blurry. Um, but that's pretty nice. I mean, it's, it's very nice external screen, and we're going to get into other features of it later. Let's, for now, just go to music and do this feature called cover flow which you may have seen in the commercial and um, it's very nice very smooth transitional we'll go to dashboard and as you look it plugs right in and hooks right up flips very nice um, we'll use my iCat purchased at Big Lots for five bucks to play um, there's the iPhone and um, it's very nice, very nice features, and of course the volume and other things like that. We'll be referring to the iCat for other audio needs and video needs later on. Okay, now let's move on. To get back, we just continue to hit the menu button to bring us back to our main menu. And let's take a look. This is videos. No other iPod made except iPod Video has videos on it. Uh, anything before the third generation in terms of nano have never had any um, videos equipped. Now this, uh, I've uploaded my own videos and I'm going to do an episode of our show, the PG-14 News. And I'm going to start at the beginning and I'll hook you up to the speaker so you can hear. Now it's the PG-14 News. Uh, I have that website running. You can and this is about two about months it. old. Um, very crisp, very clean video. Uh, I'm really liking that. That means I can get a uh, video iPod at half fourth of the price, probably. I'm not 100% sure of the price of a video iPod. Very nice user interface when it comes to these videos. Okay. Um, you can also get TV shows off of iTunes. Uh, music videos, and um, you can make playlists and other things like that. And now what I did was I took my videos off of YouTube using a YouTube grabber for iPod, and those videos are like here, Foo Fighters. That's a good one. Um, that's the end of it. But 
it still gives you that YouTube video quality, which I really like. Um, like about that. Also, oh uh, here we'll do. Sorry, that one didn't work. Let's see. Um, start the video. Here we go. And I'll let you watch this video real fast, just so you can see the quality. It's not pixelated. It's it's perfect. And like I said, all I did was use a YouTube grabber, and this is Family Guy right here. Best of all, Williams. And I still have uh, October Road. I'm just kind of prolonging this. It, this is kind of dark, um, but this was also taken off of YouTube, so be aware. And I'm going to shoot this lamp off. There might be a slight glare on that. There we go. So let's go back to our menu. And as we go back to our menu, um, let's look at some photos. And we'll look at some of my random pictures. Now, I believe all iPods, uh, I've, uh, all iPod Nanos in the past have held photos, from what I understand. Um, I don't think you could ever display them this um, nice, but I could be wrong. Now, um, it has a slideshow option. Very nice, very friendly. Every couple minutes, it'll, or not every couple minutes, every couple seconds, you see here it transitions. And that's very nice to have if you just want to sit in a stand and watch um, our photos. And this is a stand I made. It's out of a playing card. Um, and my iPod actually sits in there and will play for a long period of time, let's say pictures or movies. And all I do is I sit it in there. And there you go. It'll transition itself. And there you go, you see it's flipping, it's very nice. If I just want to lay there and, and uh, watch and view some of my pictures. So we're going all the way back to our main menu again. And let's look at some podcasts. If you don't know what podcast is, is it your first iPod? Podcasts are free um, webcasts normally that you can download off of iTunes or um, other things like that. Most websites, if they have shows, will let you download a podcast. Element Skateboard was nice enough to donate a 10 minute podcast to our show and we'll start from the beginning. This is a warning, it looks a little fuzzy on this uh, screen here. And here comes the video I believe. And I will hook this up into my iCat. Put a very long cord. And here we go. And again, this is just. Oops. I really like that. Um, very nice, very widescreen heat, like I said. Okay, um, in addition to this, it also holds notes. Um, and then here's your whole thing here about, um, you know, your sound checker. Um, your clicker, date and times, um, how you want those to be displayed, your equalizer. Um, there's a volume limit. I'm not sure if the other ones had this or not. I'm going to turn this all the way up. So when I put it in the iCat, um, you should be able to hear it. Extras are going to include games, um, alarms, notes again, clocks, calendars, and contacts. Along with a cheesy feature that every iPod has called screen lock, except this is a little ridiculous um, here. You type in your code against here and um, get your combination. And it'll lock the iPod from anybody being able to use it, if you guys don't already know about that. Um, also has stopwatch. There you go, just a basic feature. You never really need to go into depth there. I didn't really talk about the games. The games are going to include iQuiz, Klondike, and Vortex. Vortex is like um, Brick Attack, I guess. And iQuiz is going to quiz you on your current media on your iPod, which um, is pretty nice. It's cool to do. And you win money for each. I think it's like Millionaire. Who wants to be a millionaire? But it's on your iPod. Um, that pretty much is it for this iPod Shuffle. Or, sorry, iPod Nano 3. 
um, thanks for watching, and I will be bringing you more technical reviews sometime in the future, I hope. This has been the iPod Nano 3, and Meg reporting out. Thanks for watching.